Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's video, uh, we had some uh, sit down time with Wasubi. So uh, we got some uh, Minowanu action and now some Wasubi action, which is always just really, really good content because just both the guys are super, super knowledgeable. Um, first, we uh, decided to roll out with the um, the newest version of the Uprising uh, on the Team of Leviathan Gaming uh, Meta Snapshot, uh, tlg.gg slash meta. Um, really cool list uh, compared to what it had before. Some of the changes to it were, um, you know, this newest edition of Margarita. Granted, she's been around for a little bit, but... It's, uh, it's nice in the mirror to be able to lock the Keldar. Um, and there's other things you can lock too, you know, the Griffin Witchers and stuff like that. And then it also has Fortune Teller. Um, there are some cheeky lines you can do with the Fortune Teller. You can uh, doom like a Yeeghern. Um, there's, there's, there's a couple things. Of course, you can always use it on the Witcher, but there are other ways of, you know, you could doom... Uh, a knickers or a roach or something like that so that it doesn't come back um, so there are other applications for it for maybe carryover possibilities um, maybe even like a um, uh, oh shoot I forgot his name uh, Ronvid don't really see Ronvid but an just another example um, not a whole lot of bricks but it's nice to be able to draw your cards I mean if you don't find amphibious assault and like the mirror on blue it's kind of tough you're probably going to lose on even and uh, you know I me personally I haven't seen any Yurden lately but I mean a last say Yurden on this is uh, definitely going to squirt some tears um, but a um, couple games with the Subi I think you'll enjoy them um, thank you guys so much for everything man you've been fantastic um the journey's really cool. I'm almost completed with the... I think I need, like, 20 more wins with uh, the I, or the the Battle Mage armor or something like that. But uh, really cool skin. I, I really liked it. Uh, the card backs are great. The um, avatars are really cool, too. So um, another great uh, journey from CDPR. Uh, can't wait for Triss, though. Tris fan here, so... <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, couple games I'll see you at the end guys <laughs> bake spear <laughs> with some wholesome vampires I, I, I don't care man I, I one of these oh, days vampires is going to be good and I'm going to rock that Detloff skin all day long yeah, it's we, we so good to change the crystal skull again but yeah oh shit all right. Vesemir can go for sure. Uh, one Scytheman. And one Scytheman probably, yeah. Uh, kind of want to find. Uh, okay, Assault. Quinn is good. Yeah, Natal is our Assault. I um, think we can Mulligan the Mentor. Not much we want to get rid of in this hand. Well. Not bad, not bad. There's our budget uh, Crystal Skull. <laughs> 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 Ended up working out in the end. I mean, but yeah, this hand is a bit um, too golden. Unfortunately, yeah, we don't have a target practice. Uh, I guess we just start with the four in the like the pingy engine. Yeah, I don't know. Do we boost Pro it? Ah, don't think so. The vault softens them up. We don't really so mind if it dies. To be honest, it's just like something to do, you know. Well, I mean, if he's like, even though he's vampires, like, they need points, so you would think they would still play larvas. Oh, he had the right. Striga. Never mind. Interesting. Long time no see this card, honestly. Right. Yeah. So now we just well, drop the adept. just play the other engine, yeah, and then we can Quen into Erland, I suppose. What was going on about this mark, fella? Uh, I kind of just want to get some carryover and pause here, honestly, because, um, I, I like, fight- oh, God. What? <laughs> That's a negative point play, right? Uh, see, this is why, this is why I don't want to just slam the TA. <laughs> yeah, that would have been horrible. Ocean right, Mud would yeah. be proud here, holy shit. 
Let's pull the arrow on the uh... and just TA, huh? Well, I I don't think we're quite out yet. We'll uphold the nightly um, the I mean, sure. I guess you could TA the one. And that's we'll play around the predatory dot. Although, well, he might have the tall punish. Yeah, yeah I, I I think this is better. Yeah. Yeah, he might have the Geralt or something. Hmm. Yeah, so he goes with the Yigherin. So the good thing is we can actually doom this. Uh, deny the Osral in a way. But it's also very slow. Um, so yeah. I, I think we still do it though. Yeah. We might end up clicking the Erland actually. As funny as that sounds. Just to get out. <laughs> like. Watch him have a Purify. Well, he should. He he should have the Queen of the Night. Yeah. yeah. That that would be okay. So there, it plays an engine. Sure. I'm gonna commit the Ansees here. I'm not sure. It sounds risky. Hmm. Yeah. Don't think that's good. Could honestly just click the Earl and then then Vesemir. play the Vesemir after. Yeah. If he has a Toll Punish, he's a filthy cheater. So we're clicking and playing... The yeah. The Vesemir. I mean, we're not even in that good of a lead, if I'm being honest. Like, this plays for 6, for then he's getting 2, so he only needs like a 10. Well, I guess 11 technically to get ahead, but... Uh, yeah. Kinda like he answered both of our engines very effectively. Why here? Well, yeah. So he had exactly Goliath. Obviously, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, what's the tallest unit in our deck right now? Uh, is it just the six? Okay. Hmm. Could go. Back row and says, just try to duel the Goliath, but the don't really see how we're getting out of this one, honestly. Maybe we should have played around the Goliath reach with like a leader charge. Ah, I guess then he just uses two of his own, right? Right. Uh, I think he uses this. Yeah, he he should. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy just has like the perfect hand. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Well, no, we just pass, right? Not much to be done here. So yeah, he just, he basically just uh, had a perfect answer to everything we attempted to do, which is quite surprising coming from vampires, honestly. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? But, so yeah. he still gets the yeah. 10, so it's, what's it called? It's, Still gets yeah, he's also still decent. Oh god, what are these draws? Uh, I guess we get rid of the Scytheman and... Do we ditch the Witchers? Uh, kinda, right? Yeah, I think you mulligan the Eskel. There we go. Where were you last oh, round? Oh, oh my god. Thank you for coming, <laughs> Mr. Natalis. Really? So he eats That's... something of ours? Or he just Wait. goes... Yeah, he just goes for points. Um... So now we just so let Tallis. Just... Yeah, I think it's just AA the Griffin, which... Uh, quite straightforward approach to this round, I think. Go for the engine. Toll punish is cheat, obviously. We're going for the Griffin, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, One layer. Don't think you. No, I, I, I wouldn't. Like, if you want to take a long round against witchers with vampires, be my guest. Like, you know. <laughs> it's... Okay. Right, play this engine. Now the question is, do we ever want to save the Margarita for the Oriana? It, it seems like he's going all in. I would just drop the adept. Huh? 
Yeah, drop the adept, get some engines going. Sounds about right. And start hitting the Necrod, I suppose. Well, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, maybe well, get rid of that Dawn Minutes. Mm -hmm. We can actually kill it in time before the... He adrenaline. plays it yeah. now, so he's gonna purify it. Like an early one. Yeah, he might have Queen of the Night. Potentially. Uh... Can we kill it? No, huh? No. Sadly, I don't think we can. Um, I think you just play the Kelda, right? Like, there's not much to be done. We anything. don't lock this now? No. Play the Keldar, hit the Necrod again, right? And then next turn we can actually finish it off before uh, the Griffin Witcher locks itself, so that's nice. And yeah. I, I think we're in a good spot, honestly. Like, th this is not a scary bleed or anything, right? Ah, uh, yeah, we should have played around Parasite, right? Because you obviously play that in Vampires. <laughs> right? Uh, well, okay. So we just target so guess, practice. Um, I think I would ping the Necrot and then just lock the Oriana. Uh, it's a good turn to go for the lock, I would imagine. Glad to help. I live to see. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so. It's a light mistake on our part, I suppose. Could have anticipated the parasite, but so he has Queen of the Night or what? I mean, this is so weak. Like I don't know, <laughs> it's so weak. Okay, target practice, I guess. On the four, sure. So we're losing four here. Um. Which means we would have to use two leader charges, which is probably fine. Margarita, yeah, just on the non-boosted units. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. I don't think we mind using our leader to defend the bleed, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I mean, because... what does he use? He used Osril, he used Oriana. He has to, too. Yeah, well. exactly. Wait, what is that? Squirrel. Oh, God. A bit late, I'm afraid, Mr. Opponent. So we're still up with this, huh? Well, we're up with pretty much everything, so yeah. Just play the Scytheman. Well, let's play it back here. Ah, Wait, so how many points is this? It's lagging really badly. Uh, uh, we're, losing so we're losing four, four. again, so we're still up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good, 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 good. I guess he's trying to get the trio out of us, but... Yeah, yeah. It was a good call to mulligan it, I think. Nice. All right. We're still good, right? Well, we get to keep the Leo and the last leader charge, which is really big. But yeah, we got a bit greedy in round one, like trying to banish the Eagern, right? Yeah. Playing for like four points. I guess it worked out though, because those two points you'd had to use full leader. Yeah, I guess. Oof. Uh, so Mentor is obviously really good. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we ditched the oil. And just... I mean, Scython is going to play for a lot. Uh, and we don't have anything hand. else. This is the hand, right? Yeah, yeah, we just keep this hand, yeah. We basically Mentor into a Witcher, and then just shuffle it back, and we get two extra points on the Witcher. So it's like so Don't good actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. Make a nice beefy Lambert for Mr. Bane here. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's his Ooh, Oh my yeah. god, he's Ooh. the the boosty what boy. Is that? Oh <laughs> Tier Larva. Okay. So we just trio. Yeah, trio in the back row, sure. Time for it. Look at these points, Mr. Paul. So he gets two more Larvas. Really big as well. Boosting himself by five, so he's a ten. It's kind of funny. Casual ten point Leo uh, in a fourth count round, like, you know, just your usual stuff. 
<laughs> right. This car is so strong, man. It's, it's crazy. What the hell are you calling hot it says. Yeah. Um, I think the highest uh, play like a thousand witchers or something. Oh. Yeah, it's like the biggest quest for seven keys. Well, that's a good one. Ooh. <laughs> Iris. He is sadness, sir. Oh, so if it's a Yurden, he wins, right? Ah, does he? I don't I don't think so. I How do we do this to play around it the best we can? So you boost a unit in the back, and then you play the side one in the front, and then you play the other one in the back, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then Yerden he doesn't never. even get any thrives off of it. Yeah, I mean, Nierden never wins, it doesn't matter. Heat yeah. wave. Well, <laughs> those are some interesting decks, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the round one was a bit sketchy, but yeah. I yeah, think that we was... defended the bleed quite well. Yeah, that one was weird. Very strong deck as well. Got some oh Moby, okay. There'll be nothing well, to pick up. It's when either I'm done with you. <laughs> Siege some kind of Yeah, I don't know. Revenant, Siege, or maybe some kind of a meme deck. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. So we drop both Witchers. Mm hmm Yeah, both Witchers and try to uh uh, we can kick the Eskul as well, yeah. This uh, looks alright. All right. three Witchers drawn, we were past. Oh, I forgot there. to take the Crystal ah, it's Skull. Okay, it's Shit. okay. Um, we still lead with it, right? Well, we could just lead with a Royal Guard instead then. Because I'm kind of worried, like, if we don't TA it, it dies, and if we TA it, maybe he plays like a... Geralt, random. Know. Yeah, <laughs> something random. Ay, ay, ay. Dude, the games me, me and Minwana were playing, man. Some of the stuff we were running up against, it was, mm. it was interesting. Yeah. Leather, leather can be wild these days. Molar, I just assume like uh, the revenants. All right. Well, I guess we play the engine, protect it as well. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, it gets an armor. Mm -hmm. oh, we can just start chugging the carryover. You think he's commandos? Why well, would you play commandos without? Yeah, the without setup? the cultist. I mean, I I really don't know what he is. Moller would like slightly suggest it's like just revenants, uh, the old deck. Yeah. Forbidden magic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just revs. Sure. Don't think we want to waste our control this this round for sure. Like Margarita and Boiling Oil, they're gonna be Huge. extremely valuable later. Yeah. So we just go assault. Mm, kind of committal. Could just play the Irland first. I think that should be fine. Do we yeah. TA it or no? Nah, don't worry about it. Ah, just leave it. Leave it be. I think. We've the rise above. Keep pinging. Yeah. Ping the revenant, huh? Sure. No, shouldn't make too much of a difference. Um. So realistically, if we go AA um, and then just push him with the second AA, it should be good. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a big. We got very lucky as well. All right. In that case, we could indeed. Uh, slam the AA into the Adept, right? Just get some uh, tokens going, I guess. So we're going here. Mm -hmm. Now, if he has a Toll Punish, could be in trouble. But. Yeah, probably just TAD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, Mr. Opponent. Toll punish is cheat. I guess if he has a oil, he can get this. Yeah, he could. But then again, like oil is also very valuable for him. So for this. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Oh, looks like on Neuromancy. Oh, it's Natal is into his own air. What? Yeah. All right. So he's going hard. Now that's interesting because I could just run. Hmm. Wonder if that's ever worth walking. Could consider it, I guess. Hmm. So we just. Margarita is a bit slow too. Yeah, I'll probably just go with the target practice, right? Good token. Storm. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit rough. Um, but obviously, we still have Natalis for the second target practice, and then we can play the Vesemir. Kind of wonder if we should just play the Keldar. But I have a feeling he always. He gives him dies. another magic, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's just gonna oil it, I think. But all right. Um, so he plays a four, well, a six. But I think we just go for the Johnny. Pull the pull the other one. Yeah. Dark clouds, uh, do you think we should boost the Natalis? Probably, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Mm hmm. Kinda, kinda like. I mean, Vesemir plays for a 9. It's not bad, actually, 8 points. Uh, and then. Ah, it's a bit tricky, right? It is a bit tricky. Yeah, because he's going to be running the archers and stuff, right? Yep. Heavy, heavy pings. We can't uh, we can't ever give him, like, a long round three, basically. Yeah. We're just going to get nuked. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll just ping everything. Everything dies. Mm-hmm, pretty much. Sweet. Wait, that's... Holy... Wait, so what's his hand? If you make... His hand must be... I mean, we oh. got Philippa out of them. Yeah, Philippa and AA, pretty big cards to get out. We don't mind our own AA because we always want to bleed anyway and just finish with witches. So uh, sorry. I wonder, wonder if there's any merits to like uh, Quen Keldar. Just mulliganing the Keldar and playing it later could be interesting. Question is, what do we play proactively then? Yeah, I guess we just find something else. Yeah, let's try to toss it. Uh, I think we toss the Witchers as well. We don't want to play them this round. Oh, okay. Well, that's... That is a hand. Mm -hmm. um, so we go for the pingy dude, right? We go for the griffin. Yeah, the problem is, like, we AA this, right? Then he plays, like, a heat wave or a curse. And then what? You know what I mean? Like... Actually, what happens if we just drop... Margarita, just like, come at me, bro. Is there any punish for this? Like, on says, well, no, on says you gotta wait a turn. Yeah, I, I think playing this first actually makes a bit of sense just to make his sequencing maybe a bit awkward because, yeah, he, he might want to start playing his engines and. We can basically deal with two in one turn, right? If he play, if he goes like archer leader, and oil one and lock the other. Ooh! Wait a minute, that's a cheat card. <laughs> so you know what it is? I think I think it's like a deck with Idaran in it. Visigoda like and stuff. Mm, no, it is just like Idaran spawning archers and stuff. That's what I would imagine. I uh, so what do we do here? <laughs> right, we can't bust through. Mm, could just play Vesemir, I suppose. See what happens. I I guess if we make the rounds short enough to you know, like the shorter the round is, the harder for him it, it is to overcome the points from the Witchers. So right. Uh, but yeah, like this oil is looking hot. <laughs> yeah. 
Dolnimir, eh? Well, good thing we're bleeding, that's for sure. Right. Oh. Yeah. Wait, that's... Is he just okay. gonna play it back row? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we just lock it, right? Just lock it and probably... AA into our own or something. B. Yeah. I mean, technically we could all... Wait, wait, wait. What if we take the Mentor, the 7, and we just digi the oil, maybe? Yeah, could it's not really cheeky. doing anything, right? Yeah, it could be cheeky, yeah. To slay dragons. All right, and just digi the oil, I think. Yeah, okay. Next turn, we can go for the shielded Keldar, as we planned to. And then we play the 8 threat, we play the Leo. Yeah, I mean, like, this hand just plays itself, right? Yeah. Maximize the points. Witchers, when, when they, like, get a good bleed going, it can be quite scary. Uh, obviously, for any deck in the game. Ooh, well, that's... That's a, like, how, that's a big commitment, right? Like, right. how does he want to deal with the Keldar now? Hmm. Do we give it, oh, it's shielded, huh? We don't have to worry yeah, about it. Yeah, it's actually shielded, yeah, so th that was the idea. Just play back row, I suppose, and, uh, yeah. Easy game. <laughs> yeah, he's got to start catching up here. Committing engines, yeah, basically. This is the turn where he actually has to start developing something because yeah just take over the game if he doesn't and we got some decent boosts oh yeah um oh Adalia for two archers, archers? Uh -huh. in the ah the okay, okay. Have not dreamt. well we don't really care about that right like <laughs> a bit slow yeah, just play the 8. Next turn we can start transforming as well. Yeah, he. I, I think he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he went honestly. a little bit too slow. Exactly, yeah. I think he should have been slamming leader, like, way earlier. The previous turn, or maybe two turns ago. I think he's gonna regret it, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, he goes Ronvid, and then double ping leader... Hmm. Eggman. Eggman. Sure. Yeah, he just recycled. Wait, but what is the sequence in Mr. Sir? <laughs> yeah, he, he missed out on a soldier. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we just transform. I guess we play Leo. Uh, I don't think there should be like a Yirden or whatever. We can play yeah. back row, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He shouldn't really have a Yurden in his deck if he <laughs> wants to win games, I guess. Yurden and Heatwave. And Philippa, right? Like, it doesn't really bode well. <laughs> Coming in hot. Yeah. Uh, so what's he need here now? He needs 23, 24. He's got mm. three here and one. He's got to have a soldier to get his guy back. Right. I mean, like, he needs to go... Uh, Archer leader right now, or just leader the Revan. I mean, it's already too late, I think, because oh, okay, so the A is the Archer, right? Vincent. A Vincent. Okay, I mean, it's not bad on the Margarita. Mm -hmm. Gives him a Revenant. Yeah, it's not too shabby. I mean, we just go full leader with the Scytheman as well. So we light him up first, or? Yeah, so we use yep. two leader charges. Because we gotta flip one, right? Yeah, we flip one first, of course. And, uh, it doesn't really matter, like, the way you do it. <laughs> Basically just... I think you play this the first one from leader, the smaller one in the back row, and then... you play the four in the front row. Or the other way around. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Let's just, just go there. And then 11 or 12 in the back. Yep. 69, uh, dude. <laughs> actually, 73. But yeah, I, I, I don't think he's gonna... 
It's it's just witchers in a nutshell, man. If you're if you're playing like a slower deck, you're you're just not really gonna survive the bleed. Yeah. This revenants are just too slow in in current year, I'm I'm afraid. Yeah, even I mean even if he gets through this, how does he deal with uh, the yeah, Witcher that, that's trio? The, that's the sad part, right? Like we still have the three Witchers in the deck. So even if he somehow survives, don't think he can deal with the Witchers ever. <laughs> <laughs> so what does he need? Like like a literal Yirden in, in the back row? Is that even enough? One, two... Not really, right? Falibor. Falibor. Okay. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, but... It's a little bit short. Unfortunately. Good old Svinal coming in hot. By one point. Two points. Yeah. Again, like he, all he had to do was develop earlier, right? Like he, he greeted for too long. Yep. Yeah. He would have been good because we got the engine that gives it to him. Yeah. Wasubi, thanks for recording with me, sir. Appreciate it. Um, what do we got coming from the website that's new? Uh, well. No, it is tlg.gg now, right? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. the the old link works as well, but like, yeah, you can use the shorter one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the meta report is out. Uh, other than that, no big plans for now. Yeah. When's Maybe the podcast coming? Season. Oh, yeah. I mean, next month, next we're, month? we're launching DLG TV, so that, there's going to be a lot of good stuff. Yeah, as of recording this right now, there's seven days left in the season, so that's not mm -hmm. too far off. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you, Vasubi, for recording. Always a pleasure. You guys are great. We'll see you next time.